Hey all my adventurers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscription button. If you've been with me from the beginning, I thank you so very much. For those who don't know, your girl have a tour company. So if you're in Jamaica and you're looking for transportation, tours, somebody to book an excursion, then hit me up. I will be leaving the information in the description below. In today's vlog, I'll be talking to you about the different lounges slash restaurants that are in Montego Bay. I know you guys know 2727 Lounge. I know you know Pier 1, but there's so many other places that you guys can go to, you know, to just vibe eat chill on a friday night or a saturday night and i'll be showing you guys some of the different spots that are right here in montego bay st james all right so stay with me get a pen and a paper so you guys can jot down all the necessary information first on the list we're starting with pure ultra lounge all right so pure ultra lounge is located at sugar mill iron shore montego bay for those who aren't from montego bay that is pretty close to the Wita village plaza where kfc and all of those other places is if you're a foreigner you're staying at a hotel like rio or even sandals mobay sandals royal caribbean jewel grand hyatt any one of those hotels it's not far from there it's probably five minutes drive from the area right now pure ultra lounge i came here with some friends you know just chillaxing as you can see not a lot of people are there i don't mind that it was a wednesday night and we came here this is the menu we came here to have some dinner right so this is the menu you guys can pause it and see what they're working with right and then they also have a drink menu again you guys you can pause it and look at the different stuff we were immediately seated and we started with the drink so this is the smooth sailor which is vodka blackberry liquor and some lemonade right then we had the electric lemonade this is this right here they look like a test tube it was this was pretty good as well we also ordered the um watermelon tequila which is in that green one right there all right the one in the skull there's two of them in the skull listen to me you see these skull drinks they're dead right but if, if you're an alcoholic then they're for you because one is called a headbanger which is white rum vodka gin tequila coconut rum listen mm, uh, one of the skull drinks tasted really good and the other one did it and i can't remember which one is which anywho for the star of the show right well appetizer we got some wings right and then we also got the garlic parmesan chicken tenders let me tell you something you see everything that we ordered every single thing that we ordered was amazing delicious hot succulent more watering good every single thing that we had this is the chicken and the waffles and i'm telling you the chef should definitely put her foot in it this right here is the baked mac and cheese top with crispy fried shrimp yeah amazing man amazing i also got some got some wraps this was probably one of the best wraps i've ever had in my life and honestly that's saying a lot now back to the baked mac and cheese with the coconut crusted shrimp listen to me man oh my god probably the best mac and cheese baked mac and cheese i've ever had the shrimp was amazing listen the wrap everything was good guys if you see it just to go for the food i'm telling you it's so good renee big up yourself big up yourself like i said when we got there we were the only ones there i love going to places when i'm empty like that because that means say uh, people them have time to prepare the food you get what i say yeah and of course we had some alfredo pasta i think this one was shrimp alfredo pasta oh my god let me tell you say every single thing did good that's why i'm starting this vlog i just had to start with pure ultra lounge i'm telling you so if it's even to go down there for the food may i tell you man the food is good and you know sometimes when people start off it good and then when everybody hear about it and too much crowd you know it fall off and i hope that's not the case i hope they continue to be amazing we even went and we got some more wings we got some more drinks we were just eating and drinking and eating and drinking and there's a dj there so we were vibing as well you know let's add a one plate of food we get another plate of food <laughs> listen the food was amazing the food was amazing so guys you can check them out for that right by the time we're done eat our done drink you know the liquor starts sitting away it was just like listen we had a it was a whole vibe it was a whole vibe that night we had a really good time <laughs> always a good time to link up with friends you know everybody get old everybody's schedule gets busy and you know so it's always nice to 
link up and it's good that we have a good new spot that we can go and get some amazing food at right but outside of the food you know they have different stuff here as well i think wednesday night is woman crush wednesday where you get 15 percent off the alcohol you know they have they do hookah as well you know that's a big thing everybody wants somewhere they can sit and lounge around and smoke some hookah they also have games night i believe the games night is thursday night along with karaoke listen i might i might not be 100 percent accurate but at the same time guys they have an instagram pure ultra lounge you guys can follow them over on instagram all the information will be there so check them out and see you know all that they have going on go there and support them like i tell you it was just me and my friends in this place man and again i don't know if that's why the food was so amazing because they had more than enough time to prepare there wasn't any rush but i loved it i love the fact there was nobody else um for each one of the places that i will be showing you guys i'm going to show you guys the bathroom as well um for me i'm a i like I like when an establishment when the bathroom is nice when it's clean to me it says a lot about the place so um yeah just know that i'm gonna be showing you guys some of the bathroom area and also i'll be talking about parking and for here there was adequate parking parking is available right now i'm at the age where listen if there isn't if, we, if if it's a struggle for us to get a park don't invite me i can't be bothered it's just too much for me right now also guys follow me over on instagram right like this video share this video subscribe turn on post notification don't don't judge me and my friends guys we had you guys saw that we had a lot of drinks right don't judge me <laughs> Anywho, another thing I want to mention is that this particular place, they do have like events in the nights. So as you can see, I know I did that talk about how I did MTS. Like, Pat, no? Yeah. So when I'm ready, we turn it into a nightclub. You have your butter girl. You can have a butter service and all of that. Um, so they, are, they don't always have an event. Um, but again guys, like I said, follow them on Instagram so when they do have an event and they announce it, you don't miss it, right? Because it's a whole it's a whole vibe over there, honestly. I've been to a couple of the parties there and it's really, really nice. And I, one of the things that they tend to do, right, I'm not saying each time they're going to do it, but what they tend to do, they tend to have some of the local artists, top performing artists from Jamaica who come and do live performances there. So that's also another plus. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is their opening hours. So they're open um wednesday to sunday now like i said this is one of the relatively new spots i believe they open this year i can't even remember but very new spot so the the opening hours tend to vary right um so again guys just go on google google the opening hours i don't want you guys to go there and when you go there you see them close right so yeah google the opening hours and again guys for those who don't know your girl have a tour company so if it is that you're looking to go to any one of these places that i mentioned or looking for excursions to do in montego bay then hit me up and also this is actually a part two i already did a vlog on different restaurants in montego bay so when you're finished watching this vlog you have to go and watch part the origin the first vlog that i did on the different restaurants in montego bay and the different lounges in montego bay and who real big time artist may i go back the clip play when my artist is big up my beer top man Okay, next up is Rehab Lounge. Now, Rehab is located on Gloucester Avenue, right? Also known as Bottom Road if you were born and raised in Montego Bay. Also known as the Hip Strip. I know a lot of Americans, a lot of tourists, I should say, would refer to Gloucester Avenue as the Hip Strip. Or actually, it was recently renamed Jimmy Cliff Boulevard. So, yes, it has a lot of names. Whichever one you want to refer to it as, that's it's on that road, right? As you can see, it had a pool table. We have areas where you can sit. There's a bar area. So, this is a nice place as well for you to come and chill after work if you just want to have a drink. They have a wide variety of alcohol, right? From Hennessy to Appleton, Moet, Casamigo um jack daniels fireball red bull smirnoff ice a wide variety for you guys to choose from so if you guys want to come here and drink and you know yeah you definitely can um 
as I was saying, it's on the hip strip. So if you guys are staying at a hotel, let's say um, S Hotel or even the Cameron or you know any one of those hotels on Glacista Avenue or Jimmy Cliff Boulevard then it's walking distance and you can definitely go over there and check it out this spot is more of a party scene right so I know pure ultra lounge I was kind of going on and on about the food they do have party there but yeah this is more of a party scene and this is our little section right here yeah so if it is that you want your own little area little section then you guys can call and make a reservation and guys if you want to know what they offer they have an instagram as with most places these days so be sure to follow them over on instagram their instagram will definitely have more information that i than i can give you right here because you know sometimes information change i'm actually here chilling with my sister and some of our friends so you know nice little chill vibe this was a friday night um but like i said it's a more of a party scene type of thing we they also have a menu with different cocktails as you can see the waitress was very prompt with delivering the order and as you can see her shirt says hookalic sundays i want you guys to stay tuned i'm going to show you some clips with the hookalic sundays that's something that they've been pushing more of and on sunday you know the party scene there on sunday is a whole vibe so hookalic sundays you guys definitely want to check that out but these are the drinks we had the syringe the relapse and the painkiller right and from what i recall i got the i got the relapse and you know it had more of a little a little sour taste but it wasn't too bad i like sour drinks just so you guys know but anywho here are the clips from colleague sundays <laughs> so those are the clips from hookaholic sunday like i said guys there is more to montego bay on a friday night or a saturday night or even a sunday night outside of going to margaritaville or even pier one or even 27 27 lounge and honestly yeah those places have a vibe but like the crowd and sometimes i can't deal with the crowd especially 27 27 lounge so if you guys are down by 27 27 lounge and like the crowd is just too much and you're looking for an alternative or just don't go there in general don't want to go there i should say then rehab is it listen to me we were there it wasn't really crowded this night the dj was a whole entire vibe we danced you know of course we're gonna take two pictures because you don't know say we things set up nice yeah we stay good we look good watch my clean skin friend watch my clean skin sister double tape for my sister look how her makeup look nice guys she does makeup so follow her over on instagram that's the handle right there but yeah nice spot to hang out and chill with your friends nice spot to pre-game if you got like other places or you want to take on the town as i was saying guys add it to your list right rehab lounge on jimmy cliff boulevard add it to your list and like me say me i shown in the bathroom i don't know about you guys but me not like me, me judge people my judge establishments based on how the bathrooms are so yeah me, <laughs> me i shown in the bathroom yeah it wasn't too bad and again i'm at that age where if there's no parking don't invite me because i will be driving because when i'm ready to leave i'm going to leave i don't want to wait on anybody so as you can see decent amount of parking to a certain degree but the good thing with this spot is it's walking distance so you don't even need to drive per se but yeah on to the next spot right so montego bay lounges and restaurants right so mystic thigh slash mystic india that's the next restaurant on the list as you enter you see the bar and this is how the inside setup is yeah you see the little separation of each area with the curtains yeah nice um when you come you wait to be seated they had this little area with some jewelry that i'm just showing you guys as well because they really intrigued us and it's not it's not bad but yes after they're greeted and you know you tell them how many persons are in your party you're seated obviously and as i showed you guys before each area is kind of cornered off by these little curtains which is nice menu so they have sushi here 
right so this is the sushi menu i don't believe they have it every day though but we're here on a saturday night and i had it right so as i'll mention restaurant is called mystic thigh again guys um gps so it's out by fairview fairview shopping plaza pretty easy to find but again just put it in the gps you'll find it easily um so there's mystic thigh and mystic india so this menu that i'm showing you is a thigh menu and they have dim sum i believe on thir sunday sorry it's dim sum sundays um right so again you can pause the menu it's a very long list a wide variety of stuff that they offer so yeah so you guys can pause and see what it is that you like from what you don't like um again guys like this video share this video subscribe turn on post notification all right also if it is that you find that my audio isn't the greatest i'm having some issue with my mic i want you guys to bear with me i'm getting a new one it's not here as yet you know any other things off of amazon living in jamaica can take up to 10 years for it to get here so <laughs> just bear with me um yeah and i hope it's you know the audio isn't too bad you know anywho this is the indian menu and i'm telling you man i love me some curry i was so glad that the indians came as indigenous worker because they brought curry and they brought east indian mango so thank god anywho these are appetizers all right so we got the calamari love 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 i give it a 10 out of 10 we got the pork skewers again another top one on the list i give this one a 9 out of 10 it was very 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 good and then we also had the crispy lambs tossed in tamarind sauce i mean i give it a 7 out of 10 i wasn't really tasting any tamarind sauce and then i actually had the bangkok style chicken wig which was supposed to be soaked in coconut milk i'm, I'm telling you it wasn't good i would never get this again so it's a no it's a strong no on these wings right here i ordered a mojito this is probably the only place in montego Bay that i can go and get a mojito and there's a lot of mint in it and it tastes good so top-notch mojito there this is a this is the sushi that we got so we have the lobster roll as well as the california roll it was pretty good and even though i'm telling you guys the name of the food like in english so to speak the indian name is there with the explanation beneath it but i'm not gonna embarrass myself trying to say these stuff in <laughs> in the indian language but here are the main courses so this is some garlic cheese naan amazing all right with some jasmine rice and I had the thai curry shrimp now listen i wish these were jumbo shrimps and it come like them with short part shrimp because not a lot was in it and this is the pad thai super super spicy very 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 spicy then we had the tandoori chicken which i believe they say is like the indian version of jerk chicken so yeah somebody got the tandoori chicken wasn't bad um this is the butter chicken right the butter chicken with butter naan right that's was a safe bet if you guys don't know what to get this is black pepper chicken right here with some jasmine rice again it was good overall the food was definitely good um a decent portion size uh the sushi was just okay pad thai was peppery but yeah all in all mystic thai tends to deliver on most part right beside mystic thai is uncorked west right so that's mystic thai right beside the starbucks and then right over to the right of it or to the left one out of them <laughs> is uncorked west right this is by far one of my most favorite restaurants right here in montego bay this is the inside it's kind of giving you like hey i'm i'm in france something along those lines this is the menu right here um you guys can pause it of course i personally think you know the price is pretty reasonable the ambiance is good the staff is good the food is always good like it doesn't matter how many times i go here like they always deliver on the food so like a plus for consistency um one of the servers that i always get his name is tyrone so big up tyrone each time as well he's a very good waiter so um the clips that i'm gonna show you guys are gonna be clips of different times from when i came here and i'm gonna start off with the appetizers right so this is the salmon croquette ah uh, amazing lovely 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 next this is the shrimp papa ceviche to be very honest i've come to realize i'm not a ceviche girl you know and that's fine but the planting chips were amazing next we have the traditional bruschetta good lovely lovely and of course they're gonna have soup so you can try the soup for the day now for the different main course this is a double bone in pork chop oh amazing amazing 10 out of 10 you guys definitely need to try it next we have chop chop with sausage this is under the street food menu this is giving like a chipotle vibe my friend absolutely loves it she swears by it and now we have the burger 
the chicken BLT burger and their burgers are also very good next this is the yardy style shrimp with pumpkin and potato mash I won't lie that pumpkin potato mash thing is not the greatest yeah I will say it's not the greatest and I believe this was a jerk pork tenderloin and you see when you're getting these meals guys and you want a nice bottle of sweet wine you can't go wrong with the bartender or Moscato you cannot go wrong with it so definitely definitely get that but yes uncorked west put it on your list if you're in Montego Bay you can't go wrong with me go to uncork like the food is always gonna be good it's always gonna be exceptional okay so let's restaurant and lounge this is located on top road so i spoke about bottom road this is top road aka queen's drive as you can see that was a parking not a not a lot of parking and i think that's probably one of the reasons why some persons don't really come to this particular spot parking is limited you know they have, and the and restaurant area is upstairs and they have this nice little chalkboard wall where people can you know leave the name leave the memories i think that's a cute touch a nice activity but what sells this particular restaurant and lounge for me is the view listen to me man the view the view the view the view a hundred out of ten beautiful just beautiful spectacular look at it you can see the all of montego bay from up there right um this is a nice spot for if you like have a you want to do like a baby shower bridal um party or you know something along those lines it was my friend's birthday we've never been here surprisingly and you know but again the parking is probably we've never been here we're actually carpooled but yeah it's his birthday we're here my go-to drink is the amarita sour which is what i got to be very honest guys i never really do that much vlogging but me still i make something out of nothing they got the fritters um they never really liked those we got the spring roll as well the spring roll wasn't bad you know the spring roll wasn't bad the magno chutney sauce for the spring roll is excellent right um they got burger as well as oxtail shrimp and i got the salmon um overall the food was okay i mean when we got there it wasn't really a lot of people that were there you know so you know the, the, the chef should have put him foot in it but you know I, i'm not counting them out you know sometimes if a bad day it was a saturday maybe i did shift day off i don't know but it wasn't really the greatest but again one spot you can put on the list if you guys like this cake joe cake box follow her on instagram and you have the little chalkboard area of course i'm going to leave my name with my handles for all my social media as always guys be sure to subscribe okay next we're going to talk about spirits of montego bay now this restaurant is actually located right off the highway it's pretty close to so pure lounge um it's right across from where the tire warehouse is on um that highway um, i know i keep saying highway but to be very honest guys some of the roads in jamaica they ain't got no name so yes it's close off the highway um i can easily find it by putting in it in the gps anywho this is the menu right they have a decent variety you know they have the burgers there's pasta there's the local food oxtail curry goat you know they have seafood um you guys can pause it and look it over right so they do have a wide variety for you to choose from this is the drink menu right here as well so you know you guys can pause it and see if there's anything there that you would like right as always i'm out and i'm eating with my friends right this is us not really a large group but yeah this is us it was a wednesday night i'm starting to realize that is the wednesday clearly is the night that we go to eat and who we started off with appetizers we had a pumpkin soup and it was good it had a little spice to it listen to me see when you guys are in jamaica eating listen to me man they always the food is always spicy right the drink of choice amarita sour you can't go wrong with the amarita sour i get an amarita sour every time i go out and i decide to get a drink um pina colada was what my friend got and you know water of course and some sodas but yeah all in all the amarita sour wasn't bad and she enjoyed the pina colada so kudos there um the food okay so we had a burger and this is jay's mac and cheese topped with bacon um my friend had a jerk chicken with a festival we also had some wraps as well so the wraps were a lobster wrap and i think the other one was chicken wrap and oh that's fritters right there had some sawfish fritters all in all the food you know it wasn't the greatest and i've been here multiple times i normally get the pasta but i decided not to get the pasta there shrimp alfredo pasta is top notch top tier guys so you, i would advise getting the pasta there um 
but they had the mac and cheese actually never paid for it i didn't like it and i didn't put it on the bill and this is the bill so it wasn't really you know an, an out of pocket this is the girlies me and my friends and all in all that night when we went and had dinner i would have given it a 7 out of 10 and i've had dinner here multiple times before and they're usually like a 8 8.5 but each time i go i try something different on the menu and i guess i wouldn't get what i got ever again so to speak it wasn't really nice so again i'm not counting them out sometimes people have a bad day but i do know that their food is always good and it's not usually crowded so that's also a plus right so again guys check them out i'm gonna show you the property how it looks in the day because we went there at night so because you know it really has a nice view and it's a decent size and they've been doing some renovation and extending and all of that and i'm not sure if a lot of people know so when you enter actually there's a bar area this is it so if it is that you want to come after work chill relax then you can uh what i forgot to mention is that this is also close to some of the other hotels um so like sandals Riyamo Bay, jewel um hyatt you know it's like at least five ten minutes away from their holiday in hilton it's not it's not too far from that area but as i mentioned before letting you guys see how the property look in the day it's nice it's beautiful it's giving like a pure vibe so you know i honestly don't think it's that much different from pier one so to speak just that pier one is much bigger um but like in terms of the scenery and the vibes in terms of the food and everything and you're being out on the pier kind of bit of a waterfront type of thing yeah look at that it's a lovely view by the way guys remember like this video share this video subscribe guys subscribe turn on post notification tell a friend to tell a friend about my youtube channel i'm almost at 10k subs i'm working towards that so let's see if we can get there before the summer ends 10k subs let's see um but yeah doing a walkthrough of the property there's also a, a different area that they recently did they recently added this part right here um where you can go upstairs there's nothing up there at the moment when i went but like if you can imagine yourself having like a baby shower or a private you know a little birthday party you know and you want that own your own little reserved private area then you can call ahead ask about it as always because these people are on instagram so i know sometimes you guys are going to comment and ask me certain questions i don't necessarily have the answer to all of these questions but you guys can reach out to them over on instagram where their contact would normally be in their bio as well as their email address right just putting that out there and they have a dj booth out here by the pool so again if you want to have like parties obviously it looks like that's a thing that they're trying to come with and i do believe they have some events out here um again guys check their instagram their instagram will have the information and they have a small quote-unquote beach you know this is the sunday area right here so i guess you could say it's a small beach anywho we're winding up we're winding down i should say um the restroom this is it i'm showing you guys the restroom for each one of these restaurants right so this is the female one as you can see i know if you guys saw that but that bathroom door needs to be changed i'm not doing this to be like a menace or anything but just i don't know me a little ocd type of person how i was raised you know i look at these stuff but i get a bathroom like a four out of ten you know five out of ten this is the parking lot that's one of the things which is why i believe this spot isn't as popular parking is a big issue parking is a big issue and sometimes people have to park their car along the road on the close to the highway and that has been a big 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 problem so next we have elevate lounge and nightclub this is located in Reading, montego bay for all my montegonians who are actually from montego bay you know that this is where the tortuga rum factory used to be now elevate has three sections it has the nightclub it has the indoor lounge and it has the rooftop lounge and i'm gonna start with the in indoor lounge first so this lounge slash club is relatively new they opened the doors late december new year's of this year um so right here is the local balcony area and they tend to do sunday brunch out here i believe they do so that's an, that's one thing that they also do here again guys remember me telling you know, they all have instagram so if you guys want to know what each one of these places offer instagram is where you can go and find it right that's the handle right there they have more information that i do anywho back to the indoor lounge right so this indoor lounge is adjacent to the balcony that i just showed you guys you realize that each one of these tables has a 
hookah on it so this is more like a private setting so if you have a large group that's coming and you know you guys want to party it up you can have your own private bartender down here you can have your own little dj down here and so forth so it's a nice it's a nice little vibe right so as you can see this is the indoor lounge again follow them on instagram for all the information that you need all of the little parties that they might have it's going to be posted over there so i know you guys are going to comment and ask me some questions i don't necessarily have the answer to the questions that you guys will ask all right now we're going upstairs upstairs they have the rooftop lounge and this is a nice spot this is a nice spot you can come to just chill you know have a look have a beer with your friends smoke side note this elevate sign you know honestly like whoever is in charge of elevate you guys need to do better it looks like an art and craft project that wasn't done properly the elevate should be bigger in the middle and those pink and orange flowers that need to go but sorry this is the rooftop area as you can see a nice lounge area have a lot of seating they have a different number of parties up here um i believe the persons that own up here they're also in affiliation with mocha fest so anytime there's any mocha fest event there's usually one that's held up here as well they tend to have some celebrities that stop by the last time i passed through i think coily ray was there two chains as well so it's they're kind of trying to make it be like a celebrity play, play, playground type of thing so yeah again just follow them on instagram you'll see when they announce all of these different stuff um but yeah a roof the rooftop lounge they do have parties up here when they're ready they also serve food i'm gonna show the menu along with the drink menu um the food when i just opened and i got the food i wasn't really a fan of it and i actually never got the chance to go back and try again so i'm not knocking them um but you get if you guys have been you can comment below let me know what you think of the food right if you've been there before let me know what you think of the food right so, but i'm just letting you guys know that they do serve food as well and speaking of food guys this is actually a part two so i already did a vlog about montego bay restaurants and other lounges so you guys definitely need to check out that vlog when you're finished watching this one all right now i'm gonna go back downstairs and i'm gonna show you guys the club right now the club is on the ground floor um this is the walkway or the entry area this is inside of the dj booth um, what I will say, the club is on the smaller side. I feel like everything else is a decent size, but the club was kind of small, you know. But, you know, they have Elite Fridays, and this was Elite Fridays. Again, if you're from Montague Bay, you used to go to Estate Fridays up by Belfield. They move it, come down here, so now, and it's called Elite Fridays. Around here is the roped off section or the VIP area where, you know, yeah. And have the AC, and around here have the fun and so forth. You know, a nice little club area. I'm going to show some clips from um the party scene So those are the clips from the party and now for the bathroom now this wall right here looks way better than the one they have on the rooftop lounge and this bathroom looks really 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 nice 10 out of 10 for this bathroom right here um so yeah them just need to work on the little area on the rooftop lounge where the elevate sign is um i also went a little further and do a quick look of video at the male bathroom don't worry guys as you can see nobody was in there but it's just pop in and pop back out right and one more look at the parking lot area adequate parking sometimes when it gets really packed you guys can park outside but for the most part you don't necessarily have to worry about parking regarding this um this establishment right so that's elevate lounge again put it on your list again follow them on instagram and for location gps is there right now next what i want to give an honorable mention to no this is not our restaurant or a lounge right this is pineapple beach right they have latin nights and normally go it's either on a friday night or a saturday night you guys can follow them on instagram to see um which one of the nights that they're gonna have it and you know you come down here they do salsa they do bachata merengue 
when I'm there, sometimes I have to wonder if this really is Jamaica because, like, you would have never believed, like, there are so many people down there just dancing and learning the salsa, all of that. I've met people from Dominican Republic, Mexico, Spain, Uruguay, Colombia. It's like a whole melting pot. And yes, Jamaica's um, motto is out of many, one people. But yeah, this definitely embodies that without a doubt. So if this might be something you're interested in, maybe you're not into the parties, you know, or anything like that, and you want to try something new. I'm all, I'm big on learning other cultures, you know, and stuff like that. So this is a different experience. When you're there, they go through the lessons. Um, they do a little activity where everybody can come together. And of course, I myself, you know, I, mean, I don't catch it like how they're doing it, you know, like I don't catch it as good you know all of the spinning in a cab why may i tell them spin your left them spin your right by the time they don't spin you you spin more than a gig right but it's a lot of fun and you know again i'm just letting you guys know some of the different stuff you can do in montego bay right um these are some of the clips from when i am dancing and i'm kind of catch it and the thing with this dancing you know is that um they lead you so you know once you can follow the lead then you're good and not only that after after they're done with the regular dancing and so forth them turn it into a dance floor in terms of like a club type of thing and them get down and it kind of reminded me of when i was in mexico when i went to coco bingo like the way that they dance and everything yeah but before they get into all of that you know they tend to have the little dances that everybody can do where the instructor do like a one two three and you know so these are some of the clips from everybody just coming together and doing those dances also guys i want to mention that they do have a restaurant there right it's not the greatest i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's not the, it's not the greatest however the bar the bar is good and they make one of the best mango daiquiri i've ever had it was so good it was so 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 good that mango daiquiri so if you want to go there for the bar yes for the restaurant not so much um they even had afro nights one night afro latina night where the guys they came they played the drum and you know we all got together with dance and all that i'm gonna let those clips play also what i wanted to ask you guys not no, not sure if you guys noticed but um there's a new logo that i have it says amanda's 876 adventure tours again guys yes i have a tour company um so tell me what you think do you guys like this logo or do you guys prefer the older logo anyways let me know in the comments and you guys know what to do like share comment subscribe turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss another vlog follow me over on tiktok i'm actually gonna be posting a lot more content over on tiktok so follow me on tiktok as well and enjoy the rest of these clips i'll see you guys at the next vlog and thank you for watching especially if you've made it to the end
Grab a woman, 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 grab a